Welcome to Health and Harmony Beyond the Teeth, where we dive into all subjects that will help you become healthier and happier. As a dentist, I believe dentistry is more than just teeth. So I created this show to focus on overall health. We will hear from leading experts about eating better, exercising better, breathing better, and sleeping better. We want to help you create harmony in your life so you can live your life to the fullest. We want you to thrive. Greetings and welcome to Health and Harmony Beyond the Teeth. I'm Dr. Hal Stewart. Glad to be with you today. Today we have our special guest, part three of a three-part series with Dr. Felix Liao. Dr. Liao, how are you today? I'm great. Thanks for having me again. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, in our first two podcasts, we covered Dr. Liao's first two books um, and the information in those two books. Uh, Six Foot Tiger, Three Foot Cage, and Early Sirens. We talked about the link between impaired mouth syndrome and overall body health, how the jaws affect our entire health, not just our teeth. And the second um, podcast, we looked at some of the early signs and symptoms of impaired mouth and the and and. and in identifying things early before they turn into bigger problems, not just, again, not just oral health problems, but systemic problems like uh, cardiovascular disease and hypertension and asthma, ADD, ADHD. Today, we want to look more at the relevance this has to what we're all being affected by right now, and that is COVID. Uh, the mouth and its ability to help us heal or its ability to impair our health is huge. So we want to talk about that with our expert, Dr. Felix Leal. And then also, how can we, knowing what we know as adults, how can we help or how can we raise healthy children? How can we help them prevent many of the things that we as adults have had to uh, endure unknowingly? It's been a long and winding road, like the song in our last podcast that Dr. Leal chose. But we have so much knowledge now, we want to get it out there, we want to share it. So, Dr. Leal, welcome. Um, talk to you a little bit about this, the pandemic we're dealing with and how, how we as dental physicians of the mouth can, can make a huge impact on this in the future wave of something like this that might come. Right. It seems like a stretch, doesn't it? Um, when public health officials are talking about, you know, masking up, washing your hands, social distancing, uh, they're trying to put out a pandemic forest fire. I am talking about how can you be proactive so that you are less likely to have severe COVID if you did get exposed to the virus, right? Our body is equipped to deal with pathogens and infections and inflammations with innate capabilities and innate immunity. So your immunity is empowered by your sleep and your diet and your energy level. And we make energy from sleep, oxygen, and food and water. So last time we talked about how the mouth is to the human body, what roots are to plants. So if you have rotten roots, guess what's gonna happen? All right, the body is gonna be ripe for an internal wildfire with just one spark from the virus. So in the United States, um, heart disease kills a thousand Americans a day. That's not news anymore, it's just uh, such a given. A thousand Americans a day, wow. Yeah, healthcare, you know, is not, healthcare is not um, um, just, you know, managing illness with surgery and medication. Healthcare is about the care of health which means like 
If you want to keep your teeth, just brush the ones that you want to keep, right? So take care, taking the care to keep your natural gift going and renew them, all right? It turns out your mouth doctor is going to be the best one to help you stay well, okay? You may need your healthcare professionals like ICU nurses and pulmonologists and emergency physicians to, you know, rescue you. But wouldn't you rather not need to rescue? Wouldn't you rather be sleeping in your own bed? Wouldn't you rather be eating food that gives you energy and gives you facial radiance instead? All right, so this is what we're talking about how to be proactive on building and maintaining your health so that you can handle anything that may come your way. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, COVID. So we know one thing about hypothyroidism, which we touched on in the first episode. So when the thyroid function is down, so the thyroid is like your thermostat. Uh, of your body. So if your thyroid has got low function, you got low body temperature. And every degree of body temperature drop translates into 30 degree, 30% 30 decrease in your immune function and 50% decrease in your enzyme activity. Okay, so that translates into more leaky gut, more internal pollution, more susceptibility, and therefore more serious, what we call morbidity, serious symptoms, okay? So severe COVID, I'm willing to bet, there's no study out yet, but I'm willing to bet those people has more leaky gut and less immunity. And if you're more obese, if you weigh more, Texas size, pot belly and double chin, you are going to be more susceptible, okay? So <clears throat> why does U.S. with its highest per capita income, with its best healthcare system in the world, lead the world in COVID death rates? Is it because we report more or is it because we're more susceptible? I believe it's because we have way more obesity than anywhere else. Never mind the rebel mentality about individual freedom. Okay, I'm just talking about a virus being apolitical. It just cares about whether or not it's given that opportunity or not. So a CDC study shows that 63% of um, those hospitalized for COVID consists of these four major factors, obesity, diabetes, hypertension, and heart failure. Let me ask you, if your mouth is in good order, if you know how to use your mouth as an owner operator, would you end up in those situations? All right, so this is Probably what not. I say. Right, so this is why I say that your mouth can either thrive your health or kill you, all right? It all hinges on one thing, whether you're licensed to thrive. That is the title of the book. And we need that license to thrive for a simple reason, just like we need to be licensed to thrive, all right? How to operate your car in a way that's safe to yourself and to others how not to get into trouble, how to save money, okay? So if your mouth is structurally impaired, you're short of oxygen, you're not sleeping well, we cover that already. This time I wanna talk about how obesity and diabetes and heart disease are mediated through the mouth and the mouth only because if you live in America, work in America, eat in America, 
grow up in America eating standard American diet day after day, you are at higher risk. This is the reason why U.S. leads the world in COVID deaths. All right. Now we have all these public health measures in place to mitigate the exposure and the transmission. That's what the public health officials are dealing with. But we need to ask, what if the next variant rears its ugly head, God forbid? What are you going to do to make yourself less susceptible to this internal wildfire? COVID is a nasty death. Your lungs fill up with fluid while your brain is fully conscious. You literally drown while you are wide awake. It amounts to waterboarding, but not at the nose, but in the lungs. Okay, it's a nasty way to die. Not only because you don't get to say goodbye, because of the need for isolation. All right. So, license to thrive is all about how to use your mouth in such a way as to thrive your health instead of crash. It turns out that the brain is hardwired to a hand to mouth existence for survival first. Okay, once you have survival necessities, then you can talk about thrive, what it takes to have optimal health. And when you don't have uh, um, the right ingredients to maintain your health, and you have low body temperature that cannot digest the food fully. It's like a car with a um, poorly tuned engine. It's gonna blow blue smoke or black smoke out the tailpipe. All right, that's internal pollution. And the internal pollution was what causes inflammation. So you need, a, need your body thermostat to work so that you can make energy. And energy is the difference between life and death. It's the difference between a warm body and a cold body. And the more your body runs cold, the closer to death you are. All right. So people who kind of have to wear socks year round to go to bed, you know, they had to wear a sweater in the summertime, not good. All right. So it turns out that the Hypothyroid condition is readily remedied with your diet, all right? I like to pick on Texas because it's a great capital state. We are land-based agriculture. That means that we are low in iodine. It's a marine mineral, okay? So this pink salt, all this white salt, it does not have iodine. And iodine is what fuels your thyroid, okay? And so when your your thyroid is under function, your tongue is going to be swollen, and you're going to have an eight-foot tiger in a three-foot cage. And as we said, you cannot expand the jaw nearly enough to accommodate the eight-foot cage. So your body has to deal with death, confront it every night when you go to sleep. And over the decades, it's going to turn into adrenal exhaustion. And so there's a consequence to that. It turns out that when you're infected and you want to recover, you need your adrenals to mobilize you, your, your immune system, all right? So the adrenals allows our body to respond to stress. And infection is a form of stress because it threatens our health and our survival. So when the body wants to mobilize, it's like you step on the gas and the car doesn't go. It just shudders. Okay. That's what happens with adrenal exhaustion. You get adrenal exhaustion when you have nightly confrontations with death. Years after year, decade after decade. Okay, so a lot of people end up in dental offices killing their teeth, um, having one failed crown or root canal or implants after another. 
they have pains everywhere, they have fatigue, brain fog, okay? Um, when you treat these people and you give them airway, um, we develop oral devices so that they can sleep in their own bed without uh, having to go on a ventilator in the emergency room or uh, ICU, they can start to thrive, particularly if they pair this to a bone building diet. So I had an, a, a case where you know, a patient uh, had uh, um, every winter um, vomiting uh, um, um, whenever she got a cold and she would have one every week and every other week. And so um, this one year after we started uh, a oral plant therapy, guess what? She never had another. She never had another episode like that. So sleep does empower your immune system. And so you got to have good sleep, good thyroid function, a diet that is appropriately balanced between land-based and marine-based ocean um, uh, sources. So this is how you use your mouth to uh, control uh, or manage or drive your whole body health instead of crashing it. Um, and there is no question that if you don't eat healthy, you are not going to have wellness. You're not going to enjoy this life and you're going to be more susceptible opportunistic infections. So that said, I'd like to basically conclude this with one thing. Uh, my favorite topic, which is how to raise a healthier generation of children so that they're not as susceptible as this generation of baby boomers. Right. So, Dr. Liao, let me just surmise what, what you just said so that I know yep. that I know that I'm, I'm getting it, uh, and and I know that our, sure. our viewers are getting it. That was that was great. I just let you go. I just turned you loose because I don't want to take much of this time because what you have to say is so important. But uh, uh, a strong immune system is directly related to our overall health. Our overall health can be impaired or it can be. Uh, created by a healthy mouth and oral structure, chewing and breathing system. And that is where our education is focused on for our patients. And so yes. that then in turn leads to a natural response to a pandemic like this, that maybe you get yep. sick for a few days, but you're not in the hospital and you're not dying. You get well right. quicker and you go back about yep. your business. So your body ability to come back hinges on what you eat yes. um, with your mouth and how your mouth structure supports or impair your sleep and breathing. And and we know, well, we don't know, but we have a, 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 a good idea that sometime in the future, it may be a year from now, it may be 20 years from now, something like this is going to happen again. I mean, if you look back at history you know there's been pandemics epidemics that come and go yep. throughout the history of, of mankind so absolutely your second part of this is the children what can yes. we do that and you were about to go into that i didn't want to interrupt you but i just wanted to kind of paraphrase everything you've said and now let's go into this next part the children right right so um the, the grandfather of uh, pediatric obstruct obstructive sleep apnea research is Christian Guillermino. He and a um, uh, sleep apnea researcher from Taiwan, Dr. Yushu Huang, produced a paper that basically had this conclusion. Pediatric obstructive sleep apnea in non-obese children is a disorder of oral facial growth. Full stop. So here's my question. 
who is trying to be proactive on oral facial growth? Not many. Mm -hmm. Right. We need, okay, we need a new breed of mouth doctors beyond dentistry, beyond drill and fill tooth carpentry in order to raise a new generation of healthier children with, with fully developed jaw structures to bypass impaired mouth syndrome as a result of failure to thrive. So this starts with maternal thyroid health. This starts with maternal maxilla. The mother's maxilla has everything to do with the childbirth experience. It's a little complicated, but take it from me that the pelvic opening has everything to do with whether or not the maxilla is narrow and high palate fault or wide and broad, okay? And we need to empower our mothers once they give birth on how to breastfeed, and how to recognize signs of tongue tie and how to wean the babies off the breast so that they eat healthy from the start so that they have proper jaw growth from proper chewing, from chewing the right foods. Dr. Liao, may mm -hmm. I interrupt just for a second? Dr. Corridor, sure. my partner, is uh, I, I did a surgical residency last year with Dr. Sarush Zaghi on uh, tongue tie in children and adults. And Dr. Uh, Corridor is, Dr. Adriana Corridor is in the middle of taking a surgical residency for infant tongue releases. And so we, we're in our community we are getting the word out that every child that's born, you don't, don't look for the five fingers, the 10 fingers and the 10 toes first. The first thing that you want to check or have the doctor check is that tongue. They, they need to nurse to thrive and a tongue tie yeah. can certainly keep them from doing that. Thank God for doctors like you and all of you who are listening out there, look for airway trained mouth doctors, okay? So, we also need to empower mothers so that they recognize what is not good for growing healthy babies. Can glyphosate be good? Why is there so much gluten sensitivity? Okay. And do you know that pharmaceuticals are in public water supply now? Your the tap water comes out of your municipal water treatment plant. It's got pharmaceutical residues. Everybody else's antidepressants, birth control pills, um, too many to mention here, okay? They did a study with um, 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 10 babies in 2005, uh, and they analyzed the core blood. Um, this is the environmental work group. And they found that there are almost 300 chemicals in the core blood. Right? When a baby is just emerging into this world, there's 300 chemicals in the core blood. 200 of them are either neurotoxins or carcinogens. Okay, so I'm a staunch environmentalist. I know in Texas, oil and gas are kings and queens and gods. But I'm telling you, you mess up the environment, our children is what's gonna pay the price, okay? So there is no substitute for learning how to cook to thrive. There is no substitute for being discriminating about what go past your lips and down your gullet. There's no substitute for mothers become mommy doctors so that they can recognize mouth breathing, so that they can recognize chaplets, okay? So that they can recognize nostril being not symmetrical, one side more flare, one side more narrow, okay? These are all signs of trouble ahead. And look up airway mouth doctors who can help 
correct these things, not just recognize them. So in closing, I just want to say that the mouth rules, just as airway rules, right? Breathing is not optional, neither is sleep, neither is good nutrition, neither is thyroid function. So you can support all of these with healthy eating, healthy jaw development, and for that you are going to need one license to thrive as a reference to know what to look for and an airway mouth doctor in order to guide you and treat your child. This is the only way forward to stop this de-evolution that I believe is currently going on in the United States. And this is the reason why U.S. pays such a dear price in the pandemic. It's because we have tempered with mother nature and we have pay the price, we are paying the price um, with our healthcare system in particular, and uh, uh, especially this uh, COVID uh, um, uh, pandemic. So with that, I rest my case. Thank you. <laughs> Great closing arguments there, and he's not even an attorney. This is Dr. Liao's uh, latest book, License to Thrive. Uh, I had the pleasure of being able to read uh, a, a preview of this before it was ever published. Uh, this is your Bible for uh, things that you can do for yourself and for your children. And uh, go to his uh, nutrition website that's called cooktothrive.me. Cook, the number two, thrive.me. And you can, uh, there's tons of great information on there about a bone healthy diet, a diet that's healthy for your entire body that will not only help you live longer, but live better and to not just survive, but to thrive. And, you know, we as adults are completely 100 responsibility, 100% responsible for what goes in our mouths, but your children, you're 100% responsible up to a certain age of what goes in their mouth too. So teach your children well. That should have been my song. Teach your children well. Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Darn it, I just thought of that. Uh, teach your children well. Teach your children how to eat. Teach your children that what they put in their body is so important. My niece, Emily, she is so strict with her children, but it, they don't feel like it's strict. That's the way they're raised. They're raised to eat healthy. It's normal to them. So yeah. don't succumb to the pressures of the media, to the pressures of advertising. Learn what to eat, when to eat it. That's so, so, so important. Dr. Liao, yeah. thank you so much for being here today. Um, as we always do, we end with a song. Today, uh, for the first time, I'm actually picking the song and it's Crazy Train by the heavy metal group. I'm sure it's one of Dr. Liao's favorite groups, <laughs> Black Sabbath. So let's listen to a few lyrics of this song. I love the, the, the first few lines. Millions of people living as foes. Maybe it's not too late to learn how to love and forget how to hate. So appropriate for our day and age now. And I think yeah. the first way that we can learn how to love is to learn how to uh, be healthy, 
and learn how to teach other people how to be healthy out of love for them and out of love for uh, the human race. So, Dr. Leal, it has been a huge honor for me to have you for the past uh, three podcasts. We definitely will have you on again. Uh, thank you so much for all you're doing for uh, our health care and for the American people or any, any, anybody that wants to follow and listen to you, I would, uh, this should be your health guru right here, Dr. Felix Leal. And hopefully uh, I can uh, help support him and continue his, his work too. So Dr. Leal, thank you so much. Thank you, Hal. And thank you for carrying on the torch for all your patients out there. Absolutely. And we'll keep doing that. This has been Health right. and Harmony Beyond the Teeth. I'm Dr. Hal Stewart, your host. Live well, thrive, and be happy, and share your love with others. Have a good day. Thank evening. you. Bye-bye. Bye.